Hi, this is Stella McCartney for the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. The images you are about to see were shot on a fur farm in the United States, where conditions are supposed to be among the best in the world. This caged fox, a bone in his leg, fully exposed, was videotaped by Peter during a four-month undercover investigation. No veterinary care was ever provided for this animal, or countless others suffering and dying on this fur ranch. This fox's eye was sealed shut by a raging infection. The animals who somehow survived such illnesses were eventually electrocuted for their pelts. This fox cannot hold his head upright due to an ear infection. This fox is almost too weak to stand. This one has cannibalized his cage mate. Foxes on this farm went up to five weeks without being given water, except for the little which came from the moisture in their food. Here is another fox suffering from an untreated eye infection. These frightened wild raccoons were kept crowded together in small cages. Their urine was collected for use by hunters. What remains of the carcass of a cage mate can be seen on the floor. These raccoons huddle against the bitter winter snow. The fur farmer did not provide nesting boxes for warmth or protection from the elements. This fox died slowly over several days. She was provided with no veterinary care nor put out of her misery. Every day, the farmer ignored scenes like this of a fox and his dead cage mate. These cage foxes have gone cage mad, weaving back and forth over and over again. These wild animals and their offspring can never take even a few steps, experience liberty, or feel the earth beneath their feet. Another fox circles his cage, driven crazy from the stress of confinement. Excrement and fur collect on cage wires and beneath the cages, making living conditions revolting. The filth causes skin irritation and animals scratch constantly. This fox, eyes oozing with infection, paces endlessly, unable to escape. Another sign of frustration from confinement, the animals bob and weave. When the end comes, it looks like this. The fox is removed from his cage with a metal neck pole he has walked past the rows of bodies of slaughtered foxes. So Cooper. Death is by painful anal electrocution. In this case, the probe falls out of the animal's rectum after he has bitten down on the metal conductor, and the process must be repeated. The same thing happens with the next fox. 
showing how crude this process is. These stacks of bodies represent immeasurable suffering. The skinned carcasses you see here will actually be ground up and fed to the animals still caged. As you can see, when you consider what the animals endure, there is nothing fashionable about fur. Please shun fur. And contact Peter if there's anything else you want to do to help stop the cruelty to animals. Thank you. <laughs>